Hello there, Leo, and welcome to your Leo Plus Taurus love reading for May 2023. We are getting feelings for each other, future actions, ending oracle, and advice. For any of my Leos who are connecting to, interested, and or curious about a Taurus energy. So if you're looking for a different sign, Leo, check your channel. If it's not out already, subscribe and ring the bell. So you are alerted on the Zodiac sign that you are waiting for. So let's get the feelings for each other out in Leo's feelings, your feelings. We have the Knight of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Taurus feelings for you are the Page of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, Leo, I definitely feel like you view this Taurus as somebody that could be very stable for you. I feel like some of you could actually be connecting to a new Taurus with these two pages. Um, it doesn't have to be. But I definitely feel like there's new energy here for you and Taurus. Um, with the Knight of Swords here, some of you may have cut off a Taurus or felt cut off by a Taurus. Um, they could be changing their mind about you or there's a change of mind on their end. They have the Page of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like this person, if this person was seemingly so dropping the connection or acting like they didn't care or acting like they don't really have interest in you. I feel like this could be shifting here where this Taurus is either being more talkative towards your energy in May or just in the energy of being different. They may have made it seem like this connection was a burden for them or they just couldn't handle it or something like that. But I feel like they're changing their energy a bit here where... They feel more inclined to go towards you than they were before, where there definitely could have been some cut off energy between the two of you or some disassociation or possibly the communication was or is off. But you do look like you're interested in moving forward with this Taurus. This Taurus looks stuck. They do look like they are in a mind shift, though. So let's see what the future actions towards each other will be right away and see. Please show me Leo's future actions towards Taurus and what will be Taurus' future actions towards Leo. All right, Leo, you have the Six of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Hierophant. Taurus has the Death card, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Wands again. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like if a Taurus was trying too hard, they could be deciding to give up. If this person was not trying at all, this person may be deciding to try. Um, you know your story, right? I feel like if this person has been very MIA, haven't heard from them, haven't really gotten anything from them, Taurus may be starting to give you a little bit more of their love and affection. If Taurus has been putting in effort, and you haven't been receptive towards it, they might drop it because they feel like it's getting nowhere. Something is shifting on their end. And it's either they're letting go of putting in effort and or they're letting go of not putting in effort and putting in more. Let's see. Why do we... Oh, okay. Too many, too many. Why do we have Death, Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups... King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I really do feel, I mean, you're going to have to know your story, just the way the energy is coming out. You know, has this Taurus been putting in effort? If they haven't been, you definitely may be getting some more effort from a Taurus in May. If they have been putting in effort and you've been unreceptive, they might give up on you. This person may decide to just pull back and say, forget it. You have the Six of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Hierophant. So I definitely do feel like you may be feeling conflicted towards this individual. There could have been arguments or there could be some conflict between the two of you. Let's see. You have the Six of Swords to the Knight of Cups. Five of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles. And the Hierophant to the world. I feel like you wanted commitment from this Taurus. I feel like you wanted stability. You wanted love. 
I feel like there's a part of you that just felt like you're not getting it or you will not get it or you're not sure if this is what you're looking for. Let's see. You have the Hierophant to the world. Three of Wands. Some of you may actually mutually turn your back on this person too. Hmm. Why is the Three of Wands here for Leo? Seven of Swords. Devil. Ace of Swords. Hmm. All right. I'm going to let you know right now. I feel like this person is going to try to tempt you back in if whatever efforts they put do not work out. It's almost like a push and pull. Some chase, some not chase. It definitely seems like things are all over the place here between you and Taurus. I definitely feel like there's attraction between the two of you, but there's something up. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles on their end. Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like I'm letting, I'm telling you, if there's no effort from you, this person will walk away and open themselves up to new love. I almost feel like you'll do the same thing. <laughs> like, I don't know. It seems like there's a very high possibility. It's either a mutual separation or a mutual, mutual togetherness. And honestly, Leo Taurus, you are all going to decide to do something different. So... Let's see. You have the Ace of Swords. You may actually voice to this Taurus like, hey, look, maybe not. Things are too toxic or things are too whatever the case may be. Let's just let it go. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Yeah. There's a lot of indecisive energy here. I feel like it's going to end up feeling too much to the point where it could just end up separating in general. It looks like there's like a... Um, What's the type of energy I feel? Like it's either we're going to work things out or we're not. That's the type of energy I feel. Either we're going to give each other faith and hope or let's just not. It's giving me an energy like that. Leo, on your energy of contemplation. So some of you are really thinking about what to do here. With Taurus, they have dark night of the soul. So they could be going through it for sure. Devotion. Bound. And offer. I mean, I feel like this individual uh, doesn't know what they really want. I feel like they know they want your attention, but they don't really know what else they want from that here. And you have contemplation with patience. So you're really being patient with this connection, surrendering, divine feminine, and awakening. So I feel like you're trying to be compassionate and kind and soft, or you may find yourself being like, all right, well, let's still keep... The vibe's cool, no bad blood type of thing. But there's definitely this, I get a little bit of an unhealthy tendencies. Let's see what we have in the advice. I get this person offering you things, but I'm telling you, if you're not receptive towards it, their energy is definitely going to be missing more. This is the card and your advice is forgiveness. Stop focusing on your energy on past events. Her life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So possibly there needs to be forgiveness here between the two of you to move this forward and or to have some closure and move on if that is the outcome for you. Uh, it does look like, you know, there's a strong free will energy. Whenever the hangman comes in, that gives me free will energy. So that shows me from now to the end of May, there are decisions that one or both of you could make that shift this reading. And that's why the ending um, actions look like this. So I feel like they got some offers, but if you're not receptive to it, I feel like they're going to drop it or it could be vice versa. Leah, you got some offers. You feel like they're not receptive to it. You're like so long. But the receptive energy could be there. You know, they could be receptive. You could be receptive. It just, you know, it, it kind of gives me, hopefully it's a good day type of thing. 
or the energy got to be right. That's what I feel. So that's what I have for Leo plus Taurus. If you're looking for a different sign, check the channel. If it's not out already, subscribe, ring the bell to all. Do not forget to like this video if you enjoy Leo Plus releases. We do this every month. Leo, I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Have a good one. Bye now.